the earliest common denominator that we can find for human ancestry dates back to 4.6 million years ago to a genus known as the Australopithecine genus. I think that's how you pronounce it. And it has something like six or seven different subdivisions. And this was 4.6 million years ago that our earliest human ancestors we found remains all over North, Northeast and East Africa. And you know, we, we sometimes forget that we, we are essentially animals. We come from, from, from very primitive beginnings up until 3.7 million years ago. We were walking on all fours. We only developed the ability to walk at two feet, known as um, bipedalism, 3.7 million years ago. So for 900,000 years, we were walking about ape-like furry animals crawling about on all fours. Um, it took from about 4.6 to 1.7 million years ago for the Australopithecine genus to slowly evolve into what we now know as the Homo genus, of which there are also probably six or seven or eight different um, subdivisions, uh, ours being Homo sapien, which only developed uh, about 100,000 years ago. So, you know, there's a great gap a great gap in human history where we, before we even developed civilization, before we started developing tools, you know, we were essentially just animals, primitive animals walking about. I mean, we only started to move from Africa to actually colonize the earth uh, about 150,000 years ago. We moved from Lake George and um, Lake Victoria, which is Lake Victoria in Ethiopia. We moved eastwards, uh, northeastwards up the um, African coast until we got to Egypt and we crossed over the Suez Canal and we started off in West Asia and it was the first continent we moved to. And then we started to walk in a myriad of different directions until we spread all the way over Western and Eastern Europe until we got all the way to, you know, Western and Eastern Asia. And then we started to spread in a Southeast direction through Indonesia into Australasia where about 60,000 years ago we got the first ever human beings crossed over 60 kilometers of open land in what we think are calfskin canoe boats until we reached Australia. We never reached America, North America, until something like 15,000 years ago, but because we were waiting for the ice caps to melt and the Bering Straits just in the far eastern, northeastern side of Russia. And the last continent to ever be colonized by human beings was South America, which only happened about 13,000 years ago. So you think that we've got this massive technological revolution that we've gone about in the last 200 years, yet we've been walking about this planet with no semblance of history and no you know, real understanding of, of our place and you know, our finite place in this, in this vast world for, well, for, 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 for decades, civilizations of rose and fall. I mean, it talk until about Six to three thousand BCE before we start, you know, when we started actually developing the first cities all around about in the area of Samaria. The world's first empire was founded in 2300 BCE by a gentleman called King Sargon of Akkad, who united all the major, the, the, the small cities and towns around Mesopotamia, around Iraq. Um, into into an empire that that, that 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 set the example for for the Babylonians, for the Hittians, for the for the Hamites, for 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 a plethora of of great civilizations. Um, that's the early beginnings of human ancestry. Thank you.